We're going to be working, I have five problems again, and that's what we usually do. We work five problems every single week. And we're going to start on the first uh, uh, question. Math Olympiad, we meet every week to do math. Uh, our kids are gifted kids, and so we wanted uh, to challenge them. And so we meet every week just to do problem solving. And there, that's where you, you need to use your vocabulary words to make, make sure you're using your vocabulary work. I like doing this because I'm doing above, like way above grade level problems and it's helping me learn new things. <laughs> yes, you, you, want to, you want to find out which way is the correct way to do that problem, okay? Now math c coming easier to me, it's still stress relief and I get to learn new stuff. And so it just kind of comes together as one of my favorite subjects. And so when I get the opportunity to do more math, I do more math. Suppose the staircase extended until it was 12 units tall. It's just really fun to be solving math problems. It's always been one of my favorite subjects, and I enjoy it, and it's, it's fun to have challenges. Can you surprise yourself? Like, what you know? Well, it's really fun because I can do challenging problems, and I always like to have a challenge. And um, if I don't know how to do it, I can always see how to somebody can always explain it to me and so I know how to do that for the future. We can come up with a question that you have to ask. To them. These are the kids who really truly love math. Uh, they think outside the box. They work problems that I don't even see sometimes and so it's just uh, it's just like all moments and then they teach the other kids uh, so the problem will reappear and the kids that didn't get it the first time they will get it the, the next time because their peers taught them how to do it. Next time the eight ten. Oh, keep so strategy. Oh, one of those problems. We have to do it. So then it contains eight, right? four seventy eight squares. Numbers and math are just one of the things I'm good at. I really like science, like specifically astronomy. These we have twelve, and if we do all these, I like how um, it seems like um, like that um. That feeling you get when you have so when you have so much op, so many options and and they're all great options and so you and so you just want to do it because you like doing it and you like thinking of all the different ways to do it. I get that feeling when I see math. The original one here is 21. Yeah, numbers are cool and like math is cool like. You know, they all have the different shapes, and yeah, they do talk to me. So here is to check your work. Well, it just, it's really exciting to me because you get to figure out cool problems, and um, you get to have a challenge. I mean, I love math, uh, but I think some of these kids even have a more passion for math than I do, and then it's just always uh, so neat to see that light bulb come on. Uh, where another student will get it, you know, one, one will just be like, oh, I just, I didn't, I'm doing it this way, doing it this way, and then another kid just uh, comes along and they, they see it, and then their light bulb comes on. So, but the kids, they do, these kids have a passion for math. So did you, did you, have you counted these already or yes, not? Yes, we got 78. Okay. Math is going to help me in most of my classes because in, say, science, you're going to have to solve different equations which is going to have to involve math. Staircase to space. <laughs> For the longest time, I was considering becoming a mathematician, although just recently um, I discovered coding, and I found I really like coding, so I might, I might try and... I'm not sure... I know I want to be a mathematician, I also want to be a coder. I'm trying to think of a way where I could get the best of both worlds, you know what I'm saying? And that's one pattern I haven't analyzed just yet. Four, from lack of better work. Um, okay. Can you count that? So then, what did it end up? I've been doing math for a long time, and it's I really enjoy it. Um, sometimes I do math randomly at home, and yeah. All the way to seventy. And seventy. Seventy. Eight. Okay. It makes me feel smart because I know how to do something that would be really challenging and that maybe sixth graders couldn't even do. 
I said another 12. Another 12. How many of those number, numbers added up to 12? You add the first two and you add the second two, the value from adding these two is going to be the same as the value from adding these two. So draw your quadrant out there and then uh, talk with your partner and you can work with your partner to uh, come up with the answer.